statements. Next question. The starting point for a master budget is estimating A. Expenditures B. Cash receipts C. Production D. Sales E. Cash payments Let's go through this again using the process of elimination. The starting point for a master budget is estimating. Now again, we got to visualize what the process is going to be. We got the master budget. We got to go through all the budgets kind of in order. We can't just jump in the middle and start budgeting things. It's got to go from a beginning point to an ending point. Otherwise, it'll be a mess. So what we want to have that visualization in our head. A, uh, it's going to start with the expenditures. Typically not. Uh, we're not start because you would think we're going to start somewhere around kind of like you would think of the income statement, which starts with revenue, right? The sales type. We got to start with the top line, not the middle area. So not expenditures, the cash receipts. Now you might say, hmm, cash receipts, that seems like a, a, a good place to start because that's at least the money coming in. Uh, C says the production. And you might consider that as, you know, we need to know how much we produce. That's somewhere towards the top. So I'll keep it for now. D says sales. And that's the top of the income statement. So you would think that sales, like revenue, would be somewhere up there. And then E says cash payments, which is kind of like expenditures. I mean, it's kind of like uh, we, we, we would think we would need the receipts first before we consider how to budget the expenditures possibly. So I'm going to eliminate that one. We'll keep B, C, and D. Go through this again. The starting point for a master budget is estimating either B, cash receipts, C, production, or D, sales. Now, of those three, I would think it would, it would come down to basically cash receipt or sales before production. And then cash receipts and sales, of those two, we, we're generally going to go through the sales first because we need to basically know what the sales are before we can consider what the cash receipts will be. So usually the sales then we're going to have to at the top towards the top of the starting point of our budgeting process. Final answer. The starting point for a master budget is estimating D sales. Next question. The master budget process ends with A the production budget, B the sales budget, C the selling expense budget, D the budgeted balance sheet. E, the general and administrative budget. Let's go through this again using the process of elimination. The master budget process ends with A, the production budget. So the production budget you would think would be somewhere, we're imagining the level would be somewhere at the top, you would think, because I got to know how many, how much stuff we're going to produce, I would think. So that's not what we're going to, that's not the ending point. B, the sales budget. Now that's one of the very first things we need because we got well, that's not where we're going to end. That's where we begin. C says the selling expense budget. Yeah, it's probably somewhere in the middle. I don't. That doesn't seem like the ending point. It's not like the finale. The selling expense budget doesn't seem the finale last thing that we. I don't think. It, D says the budgeted balance sheet. That sounds pretty, you know, fully done, completed type thing. I'll keep that one for now. E says the general and administrative budget. Again, not very administrative. That doesn't sound very, you know, the finale type in thing that we want to get to. It sounds kind of kind of blah. So I'm going with D on this one. I'm going with D. Final answer. The master budget process ends with D, the budgeted balance sheet.